The Nile serves its uh, millions of beings you know, under the water and also all the millions of people that actually depend on it. It's always been um, you know, embedded in the literature and the music and in the, in the arts and you know, in, the, in the fabric of the whole cultural elements. And then it's always been a sense of inspiration, pride. It embodies a lot of symbolic uh, meanings. There's a certain piece and a certain um, sense that you get of, of, of the stories that come along with it, you know, and how far it has flowed, the lives it has touched as it flows. Whether it's individual stories in the terms of upbringing and uh, the rituals that the different cultures hold with the Nile, but also like uh, more modern stories that are a little more sad. Across the Nile Basin, we do not have a platform that connects civil society, that connects citizens, and enable opportunities of transboundary nature to emerge. What could the Nile Forum look like? How could it operate? And also, what would it work on? We're opening doors for these projects. In a sense, it allows the local uh, impact to be uh, scaled across the Nile. So it's an open platform. But beyond that is, how then can we collaborate? How then can we, you know, build a community of communities? Being a very neutral vehicle can support the connection of all these Nile countries that has such a diversity and how we can actually enhance this diversity and actually bring us together. And the more we are connected, the more we create a culture of peace and the more we create a culture of sustainability. We are living in a time of great change when the solutions that we have used before no longer really work for us and we have to discover new ways forward. Regarding the process which unfolded where the diversity became more visible as a strength and as a source we can tap into uh, rather than something which is separating us. We need the complementarity and the difference between us in order to create that which is greater than any one of us. Africa today does not need war. We need people to come together and sit down and talk. And the stories that we share, we want to share with the world because now that we have this knowledge and we know the stories and we know the history of what happened to the people, we can't just let it reoccur and pretend like this history never existed. And uh, I'm calling upon people out there to support initiatives like this, because this is the only way we can unite Africa. France. France.